Hi everybody, we're in this situation now where everybody's having to start to work at home, we, uh, everything's getting closed down, we can't get to the archery range, which is the worst thing in the world. So with the bow training exercises, here's a great opportunity to make ourselves fitter, stronger, better technique. All these bow training exercises will guarantee that you'll shoot much better when you're allowed to go back to the range. So take the opportunity, we can, uh, this can make you a much, much better archer. Hi, I'm Richard Priestman, uh, Senior National Coach for Archer GB. Today I'm going to show you some examples of different bow training exercises you can do. Um, what, is, what is bow training? This is using little bits of kit that you can make or you can buy together with your bow. And the plan is to, to A, to make you stronger so you can enjoy your archery more, and B, the bow training exercises can actually improve your technique. Um, so, first thing, Sophie, so the first thing I'll do with an archer is I'll try to identify where your weaknesses are. So, for example, is it your bow shoulder that breaks first when you're shooting? Or is it the elbow? Or is it both together? Or is it some kind of collapse? So, you just use the bow for that. So, if you just draw the bow as you normally do, and then we'll just hold it full draw, and then stop as soon as you find one part of your technique is breaking down. So depending on how fit you are, this could be in 10 seconds or a minute. Okay, that's approximately. So which did you feel was breaking down first? Front shoulder. Okay, so that means that I will target some, I'll do extra, extra exercises on the front side as opposed to the back side. If, if the elbow side is breaking down first, we'll we do more on that side. Okay, so if you want to put the bow down. first bit of kit is just a simple rope. This could be a strap, it could be a belt, it could be a piece of rope. Uh, you can make it so this is just a piece of uh, cord. If you want to pull it back as if you're going to pull the bow back. Okay, so for this, so if you now if you make sure that three fingers are right around it, so you, you keep, keep, the, keep the hook, keep the shape. Okay, and it's slightly short of a length. Now pull it as if you're trying to pull through the clicker. And keep pulling till you achieve shaking. Now you're shaking, so we can hold that for five seconds, ten seconds, fifteen seconds, depending on how strong you are. Keep pulling, keep make shaking. Okay. So how does that feel? You're starting to feel fatigue coming around here yeah. and again on this side. So this is actually exercising and stressing your archery muscles. And the, the neat thing about this is you actually start to feel real balance. And one of the big benefits of bow training is to develop archery balance because we're so asymmetric. Um, any exercise you do in the gym are symmetrical and uh, it's not quite good enough for archery. Okay, so relax. So typically you can do, say you're pretty strong, so 20 seconds up. It'll be, it has to be shaky. You can't just fake it and do it gentle. You have to have to be visible shaking uh, and then relax for 20 seconds and then and then up again make sure you retain the hook and then a bit more a bit more a bit more heavy shaking okay you're trying to come through the clicker so once you achieve shaking you're probably pulling about 45 to 50 pounds maybe more depending how strong you are and relax okay so very quickly start to feel uh, areas of your body fatiguing. Okay, so typically we want, we need you can do as many reps as you want. This is kind of cool for um, when you're working at home, when you're at school, when you're at work, in an office, you're traveling, in a hotel room. You can train really hard a hundred times a day if you wish, and you can get really strong. So when you come to pull your bow back. Now your bow is easier and more efficient in, in the way you shoot. So typically, start off light with, say, 10 seconds, 10 seconds up, 20 seconds down. Then build up one second at a time to 15 seconds, then 20 seconds. Uh, and when you hold it for 20 seconds, some shaking, you're getting really strong. Okay, so that's a very simple one. Lives in your bag, lives in your pocket. There's no reason not to train. Exercise one.